And uh, <laughs> sound from uh, Trump's doctor, Harold Bornstein, who, um, I, I don't know, lunatic. Uh, the whole thing is lunacy. I think this poor doctor is just like, uh, there are there doctors who, when we would do productions, at one point I, I executive produced a couple of shows, and one I did in New York City. It was uh, called Beat Cops. This is, uh, this is 17 years ago now, maybe more. And as an executive producer, what I need to do uh, to fulfill my obligations for the insurance on my production is I have to send the major actors in the production to a, uh, a doctor down the road. We, you got to turn off his microphone. Uh, and... So we went. We sent them to a doctor uh, to get a physical, and literally, and I went as an actor too. And literally, it was just a guy. That's all he did. It's just like, hey, how you doing? Good. All right. What's the show? <laughs> uh, it's about two cops. That sounds like fun. You got a headshot? Yeah, I do. Any chance you could send it to me? Just sign it. Yeah. All right. Well, you look good. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> and that was it. And they would just sign off. And I have a feeling that Trump's doctor, I don't know, maybe he's a very good doctor, but I have a feeling that the nature of the relationship was very similar to that. In fact, let's play Trump's doctor, Harold Bornstein, responding to NBC News questions about his wording of his letter of Trump's health. Because you remember, the wording was like, this guy's the most awesomest, <laughs> healthiest person I've ever seen. Like, you know, it's a little bit over the top. Uh, and not, not what would you call a clinical representation of someone's health. He has no history of ever using alcohol or tobacco products. If elected, Mr. Trump, I can say unequivocally, will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Dr. Bornstein, uh, phrases like astonishingly, astonishingly excellent seem a little bit over the top to some people. What do you think about that? Is that the way that you write most of your medical letters? No, but for Mr. Trump, I wrote that letter that way. Is he, did, would he, did he ask you to uh, describe it that way, or do you, do you pick up his kind of language by spending time I with him? I think I probably picked up his kind of language and then just interpreted it to my own. Yeah. I mean, first of all, as a reporter, like, why do you offer that out? Why don't you wait a little bit more? Just like sit there in silence. Like, how do you explain something like that? Or let me give you an answer that will be, you know, somewhat sufficient. But obviously what happened is Trump wrote the letter <laughs> himself. He probably wrote it himself. And either signed the guy's name or gave it to him to sign. And the guy now is just sort of like, yeah, I, I mean, it, there's no doubt in my mind, like, the, the, the level of sort of intensity on this campaign was like, Trump's like, hey, um, Harold, I need a letter. It's fine, right? It's, I'll sign it. Whatever you want. Sign it, myself, sign it yourself. Don't worry about it. And now, all of a sudden, it's coming back like, oh, this is real? I mean, like, people actually want to know that there's a doctor who has some faith that this person's not dying of of horridness and obesity <laughs> inside him. Like, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> I mean, Donald Trump could be just decaying from the inside, and we would have no way of knowing. He'd be the oldest president-elect, is that right? Yes, that's right. And the healthiest. And, and when they went in further, like, do you really think he's the healthiest? Well, I mean, uh, Roosevelt had polio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like listing off all these presidents like who was it that he said like taft had some type of amoeba eating his brain uh <laughs> it, was, it was pretty impressive uh but there you go all right folks uh only the best people that's oh, donald trump only gets the best people
I'm going to be so much best people, you're going to be sick of it. We're going to take a quick break. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.